Welcome back, everyone. The summer days are getting a lot longer and a lot hotter. Why not cool down with a fun party at the pool? Lifestyle expert and our dear friend Mandy Landefeld is here with tips on throwing the perfect pool party. Welcome back. Hi. This is so beautiful, as per usual. Beautiful, colorful, and fun. That's what the whole theme of, of all pool-tastic fun <laughs> yes. is happening right now. It's all a throwback to like old school, 1950s, Annette Funicello, California yes. vibe, all. Yes. Yeah, Beach Blanket, like we were saying Beach Blanket, Blanket. Bingo. I, I watched those. all those movies, did oh, you? I did too. None of the millennials are gonna have any idea who the heck we're, we're gonna, talking about. Please uh, look at our millennials off Please the Google side. that. They're like, who's Annette <laughs> Funicello? Annette Funicello, Google it. Google, Google her. Google it. Um, so, those anyways. are the best of, like parties and memories at well, the beach. Well, and even and the bathing suits have taken a throwback Back to that old school, coming like, up to the, to yeah, the waist. waistline, yes. full coverage, kind of cute, but pops of color, right? right? And so. I love the pool floats. Right. Um, I took one, I don't know if you know it, at the top of the show. <laughs> Had to let everybody know they were in for a treat it's today. So cute. But it's so, so cute. much fun. Yeah, cupcakes and popsicles and big watermelon slices and flamingos yes. and just all that fun stuff. Color, color, color. Absolutely. And uh, one of the things, you know, when you're throwing your party, you gotta remember. Okay, what do my guests need? And Mandy has it covered here. Okay, everyone's gonna forget something. So you have to make sure that you're the good host, right? right. And it, they don't have to all be perfectly matching. It could be literally out of your closet. Just put it in a cute tub and cute. roll them up and then they look, at least you're thoughtful, right? So adorable. So um, we've got fun towels. We have some extra sunscreen because we all have to be careful with that. If you've got kids coming, which, you know, if you're only throwing an adult party, you know, maybe sometimes the, the adults want them too, but yeah. have, uh, well, have some toys, ball, right, yeah. balls, toys, things for people to play with. And you can also encourage them to take a cute selfie for Instagram with like big sunglasses. You That's could have cute. a cute selfie frame that you could do with, with just poster board and maybe some Hawaiian uh, wrapping paper or something. You could do some really fun just beach hats, just whatever you have around. Love it. But let people have an activity to do. Okay. And then water, of okay. course, because we are going to be making a cocktail. We have all met. Oh. So, but yeah. if you go ahead and, and fill it with some cucumber and mint or Beautiful lemon and Mandy. mint, that's how you need to, it encourages them to drink more water. Absolutely. Right? And then you always have a nut just delicious food, beautiful food, but um, it's easy. Easy, and especially for a pool party, you wanna do light bites. Okay. Nothing crazy heavy. Right. I don't love, I, I don't do like burgers and hot dogs. I like doing brats, maybe a chicken brat, okay. like, and not even have that many buns. You know, people don't have to have buns. Maybe they just wanna just have veggies and stuff. So. Totally agree. But these are our bruschetta skewers. They are so that simple, so, so good. Okay, so I'm gonna have you help me make them because all the ingredients ingredients are, they're really simple, are tomatoes and lettuce. We've just kind of folded up some lettuce and did some yummy focaccia. We've got all kinds of yummy skewers. So go ahead and put some more tomatoes on there. This is a great idea. And um, and then here, I've got another one for you. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna do one more Extra these. cheese, that way people can go ahead. You can even have this be a make your own type okay. of a situation. And then you would lay them all out and drizzle Beautiful. them with a yummy balsamic glaze, which you can get at the store. And I love to dip them and a yummy herb garlic um, yogurt, right yeah, yogurt mm. dip, which we have the recipe on the Atlanta and Company. I know what is that? it's like an Italian tzatziki. That is incredible. It's yogurt. It's a little bit of mayo, some basil, garlic, and lemon zest, and that's it. That's I mean, phenomenal. so simple. But and how so, aren't they pretty? I love so it. So pretty. Okay. Oh. And then next, we have to we have to have a cocktail. I know. Because again, well, it's my did. party. <laughs> Let's see how many cocktails. I, I know. I saw that yummy martini. That was yum. Mm -hmm. and, and here, I, I looked. I was like, oh, this is a light sangria. Yes, light and citrusy. Because when you are drinking, you don't want a heavy type of a thing. And I know sangria so is normally really nice and light, but I love citrus. And you could even do a tropical one, but we've got pineapple in here and orange slices and lime slices and lemon slices. And then I've already put some white wine in, but we're going to go ahead and finish making it up. I'm going to hand you one so you sure. can start drinking okay. while we finish making one up. Let me just taste it. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> I've got like, pineapple mm. juices going in and lemon and lime juice. Wow. Right? Not just delicious and refreshing, but light, as, right. as she said. And a citrus-flavored vodka. 
all sangrias huh. have to have booze in them. If they don't have booze in them, it's just fruity wine, people. Yeah. That's all. I had a neighbor once ask me over for sangria, and I said, is there is there hooch in it? Is there, like, some booze in it? And she's like, no, it's just Let wine and fruit. I said, that's no. just fruity wine, You're mama. like, go get some brandy. Yeah, you have brandy, go- cognac, cognac, a yeah. little bit of vodka, whatever you want to do. So, yes. And then we're going to finish it off with our, I like a dry white wine in this, this because so if you're using, like we are triple sec, mm-hmm. it already has sweetness in it. But yeah. This is delicious as Cheers. always. And of course for Mandy, I mean, she is our lifestyle expert here mm. every week. Uh, feels like every week. If not, we need to have you on every Every week. other Friday. Every other really. Friday. It's sumptuousliving.net for ideas just like this and so many more. Sean's laughing going, we gotta call Uber for Christine. 